Good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video we will be discussing few more points okay now starting with the healing striate we'll discuss briefly about the healing striate then we'll be discussing about the islands found on the uh, on the heart line okay then we will be trying to understand you know the correlation of the health line and the heart line and how the islands on them mean the same thing and also we'll be discussing about different uh, random marks found on mount of jupiter sion apollo and horizontal block lines on the lifeline now healing stride healing stride as we always know that it indicates towards you know healing person it indicates towards a person who helps someone out it it also points to a person who has a very good communication skill who can understand other feelings well who can key into the feelings of others and can help them out okay it can also indicate that this person is very caring and you know generally likes to help others so healing stride is always a good marking also if it is supported by high mount of neptune mount of neptune is found here if it is elevated then again it will kind of uh, mean that the person is able to key into the feelings of others and also help them out okay if this if this healing stride starts shifting towards marriage line or towards the left side okay then it can indicate towards that the person is more interested in somehow caring for children and uh, you know that is what healing stride represents now going ahead with the islands on the heart line see whenever the you know the body parts of of our like of like lungs and uh, you know break uh, you know lungs then going to the neck part everything is represented on the top part here whereas uh, the lower parts of the body are indicated here on the mercury line but if an island even found on the heart line in the top region somewhere here it can indicate towards drop some problems in the lungs okay uh, if it starts shifting towards the apollo then it can indicate towards some kind of a heart trouble if it starts shifting towards saturn it can indicate towards an eye or hearing problems so that is how you can check but always remember top part represents the top part of the body especially here and then the bottom part will represent the like kidneys and all these will come over here and if any dots or islands are found you can interpret it that way now getting ahead now let us try to understand what will happen if a square is found on the mount of jupiter so whenever the square is found on the mount of jupiter it indicates towards a person who has very good Uh, teaching abilities who has very good instructing abilities who is very good in uh, giving uh, you know guidance to others who is very you know um, so uh, very instructional okay so this uh, also means that jupiter it is uh, jupiter is getting involved here so this can mean that jupiter is somehow playing a good role so in vedic astrology wise okay vedic astrology wise it can mean either jupiter is in a friendly sign okay if that is not true then it can mean that jupiter is in the sign of maybe sagittarius okay in its own sign or pisces it can also mean that jupiter is in exalted sign okay it can mean jupiter is in a uh, you know mool trikona sign it can mean that if even these are not good then it might be in conjunction with moon okay then it can mean that jupiter is, is in conjunct with moon okay or it can mean its signs that is sagittarius and pisces are are placed very well so you see uh, whenever a square is coming here astrologically also something similar is happening okay and you can just cross check it uh, even in your analysis if you have a small square here just check your uh, astrological chart will be surprised that one of these combinations will be present again this also holds good for star but star also indicates towards uh, you know rise in status as well uh, and politically successful or somehow high in society as well so this also means 10th house becomes strong because 10th house somehow shows your recognition in public so it can mean 10th house is strong apart from jupiter being strong and it can also mean sun is also strong so you know that is how you can correlate now also you see, you see if a if a if a star is found on the mount of apollo it can mean that again that the person is brilliant successful achieves fame and achieving fame is you know sun so maybe astrologically sun is very well placed 10th house is doing very good okay uh, brilliancy in mind versatility and intelligence is also indicated by this star this can also mean that the 5th house is doing well 
So that is how you can correlate all the markings in the hand in some way or the other to the astrological chart. Though an exact one-to-one, -one, uh, you know, uh, backward tracing cannot be done. Like for ex in this example only, a star can mean that the sun is well placed, or sun is in exaltation, or sun is in Leo. So there can be many interpretation. But one of them will be definitely true and uh, slowly and gradually we'll try to, you know, reduce the uh, number of, you know, uh, there will be a situation where we'll just say, okay, this marking would mean astrologically this is happening. So yes, uh, gradually we'll get to that, but this is one way of looking at it. Now apart from that, uh, you know, I've always seen that islands on the lifeline generally indicates if it's not not an emotional trouble and generally indicates towards some kind of a spinal problem, a problem with the spine, okay, or problem with the back, back aches and things like that. So hopefully you understood few more points in this video. I'm Shutank into palmistry. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.